Hi everyone, it's Mario Vegas, so welcome back to the Tank Zone. This time our spotlight shines on the legendary VMP-1 Soviet Armored Fighting Vehicle. As usually, let's start with a short uh, history review with some uh, interesting facts, uh, then we will take a look at the vehicle's uh, game stats, armament, uh, ammunition and special abilities, uh, we will compare the vehicle to its counterparts, summarize its pros and cons, then we will review the best ways and tactics how to use it during the match, most suitable retrofits, crew skills and command depending on your chosen gameplay style. And finally we will take a look at the performance in the battle. So let's start with the history. In Russian BMP is abbreviation of Bayovaya Mashina Pihoti, which means Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Its uh, development started in early 1960s in Chelyabinsk tractor factory. During the Cold War, Soviet military leadership saw all future wars with the inevitable involvement of nuclear, chemical and biological weapons and uh, therefore BMP-1 was designed taking these threats into account. The main purpose of BMP-1 was to transport infantry to the combat zone, disregarding lack of roads, harsh terrain or even nuclear fallout under safe protection of its armor. A second important BMP function was uh, to provide fire support to infantry and tank forces and fight with any possible enemy armor as well. And uh, here we should mention very important fact that it is a fast such type of vehicle in the world. Uh, when it was produced, it uh, was the most uh, heavily armed IFV in the world. Only after BMP-1 was designed, created and adopted in Soviet army forces in 1966, only after that similar vehicles uh, started to appear in the world and uh, their main purpose was to fight back BMP-1. For example, American Bradley appeared only in 1981. Uh, BMP-1 construction is simple and rough. Its hull arm is made of welded steel. Classically, as for all Soviet vehicles, armor is sloped, which drastically increases thickness of effective armor. BMP-1 frontal armor plate has 89 degrees angle, which creates 40 mm effective armor. Lower frontal plate is 19 mm thick and it is placed in 57 degrees angle, therefore its effective armor thickness rises up to 39 millimeters. Side armor is 16 and 18 millimeters thick and rear armor is 16 millimeters with 19 degrees slope. To increase crew and troopers protection, vehicles engine and transmission are placed in the front. BMP-1 has a legendary UTD-20 turbocharged diesel engine derived from its predecessor the V2 engine, developed in 1930s in Kharkov locomotive factory. Uh, during World War II, V2 engines were placed on Soviet KV tanks, and this is a reason why it is called UTD engine, which stands for Universal Tank Diesel. UTD-20 runs miles ahead from its predecessor, it is four-stroke, six-cylinder, 300 horsepower diesel. It is a highly reliable engine, uh, which is capable of working on the whole its maximum capability for extended time. Basically, you must be a genius driver to kill that engine. A vehicle weights 13.5 tons, has a maximum road speed of uh, 65 km per hour, maximum road speed and 7 km per hour on water. It can easily traverse 35 degree slopes, can fly over 2.5 meter wide ditches and its operational range stretches up to 600 km. BMP-1 is fully amphibious. It has 
no water jets or propellers but uh, pay attention to these slots um, when tracks are running they are creating a stream of water that propels BMP when it uh, crosses the water obstacles and by the way BMP1 has 12 hollow track wheels which increases its buoyancy uh, BMP has three-man crew driver in the front commander located behind the driver and gunner placed in the low profile turret in real life BMP can carry up to eight troopers each trooper can provide fire from the inside of a vehicle through the special firing ports in the side of the armor and rear doors or through the opened roof hatches troops embark and disembark through two rear doors which contain additional reserve fuel tanks but let's uh, take a look at the bmp1 anti-tank weaponry it has a 73 millimeters 2a28 smoothbore gun with a semi-automatic loader the gun is not stabilized and has poor accuracy at long ranges its maximum range is only 1300 meters but direct range of fire is even lower 765 meters the maximum rate of fire is 8 to 10 rounds per minute originally this vehicle can carry up to 40 rounds uh, ammunition and four missiles load but speculating on russian ingenuity and uh, sometimes uh, unbelievable and even mad adaptation to the battle conditions who knows how many extra rounds boxes you could fit in the troop compartment a bmp1 has a barrel mounted 9m14 malutka wire guided missile Oh, by the way, a Malutka in Russian means a little one. Mm. Um, on later models it was replaced uh, with a more advanced anti-tank guided missile launcher. Uh, to counter enemy infantry, BMP-1 has a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. And final thing to mention, as a BMP-1 gun has limited elevation, it cannot engage a targets the bmp1 was first tested in combat during 1973 yom kippur war where it was used by egyptian and syrian forces later on it was used during the soviet afghan war which lasted for nine years during the war the main bmp1 problem was afghan mojahedin fighters with rpgs and pushing them in mountainous regions uh, mojahedins even did not try to fight the bmp's excellent sloped arm they aimed for the thin roof from their elevated positions uh, bmp had low protection against uh, land mines and this is another reason why soviet troops quite often chose to ride on bmp's roof instead of taking chances inside of a vehicle and that tactic significantly increased survivability bmp1 was manufactured until 1983 has service history in more than 15 countries worldwide was used in pretty much all conflicts around the globe since 1966 and in many countries thousands of these vehicles are still in service and now let's dive into the game a BMP-1 is a tier 3 armed fighting vehicle originated from uh, the Soviet Union. It is sold by Sophie Wolfley, can be unlocked uh, from the Skimita and leads to BMP-1P or BMP-2, depending on your choice. It is equipped with a 73mm uh, 2828 Grom smoothbore cannon with 2.10 seconds stock aim time. 7 seconds stock reload time for heat shells and 10.5 seconds for anti-tank guided missiles important thing to be aware it has very poor gun depression now let's take a look at the vehicle's game stats 
armament, ammunition and special abilities, compare vehicle to its counterparts and summarize its pros and cons. Let's start with sustained damage. BMP-1 has all right penetration of 585 mm with 400 damage for heat rounds and 600 mm penetration with 510 damage on penetrating hits and 102 on non-penetrating hits for Malutka anti-tank guided missile. It's okay damage and penetration, but I would say nothing special. And 4000 DPM is not top of the hill as well, if we compare it to its other tier 3 counterparts. But uh, we should not uh, be misguided by that. BMP-1 has an excellent rate of fire for anti-tank guided missiles. So let's uh, remember that the missile reload time is only 10.5 seconds by stock stats. We will return to its firepower after a while. But now let's move on. Defense. 1200 hit points. All the rest of the defense stats doesn't really matter. The vehicle has zero armor against any anti-tank ammunition apart of upper frontal plate, which can withstand some heat rounds and even anti-tank guided missiles. But only if you're lucky and if opponent does not choose to target belly. Anyway, defense tab is very important and should not be overlooked to determine the right gameplay with this vehicle, which we will do after we finish with stats. Mobility. As you can see, BMP-1 has good mobility characteristics. 67 km per hour top speed, great 2.75 seconds acceleration and 43.3 degrees per second hull traverse, which to be honest uh, could be better, but I do not feel that much as an issue during the game. Personally for me it's enough, plus this vehicle is amphibious, has waterproof features and therefore can remain longer underwater. Utility. And look at that, 44% overall camo and 52% while standing, which is absolutely beautiful. A plus BMP-1 has subtle movement feature that allows it to move at a low speed without reducing the camouflage factor. 488 meters vision range while moving and 518 meters while stopped. It's uh, partially achieved due to its recon package that provides an improved vision range when the vehicle is stationary. Targeting. Very poor gun depression. Look at that. I just want to cry. Really. This is a reason why you should look at anti-tank guided missiles as the main arsenal for this vehicle. Accuracy is great. Uh, 0 0.09 degrees. Aim time is a slow um, 1.98 seconds, but again, uh, not a big issue if you use anti-tank guided missiles. BMP-1 has a great turret traverse speed of 53.25 degrees per second, and it has ability to designate targets uh, that are within line of sight and vision range. Now let's summarize vehicle's pros and cons to determine the most suitable retrofits, crew skills and commanders for it and best ways and tactics on how to use it during the match depending on your chosen gameplay style. And finally we will take a look at its performance in the battle. Let's start with the pros. A BMP-1 has a good anti-tank guided missiles rate of fire, great mobility, low profile, subtle movement feature allowing it to creep around on low speed without uh, losing its uh, excellent camo rating, great vision even without any additional retrofits installed. On top of that, it has designated target ability if you like to play as a scout 
or it can carry any type of mechanized infantry. Cons. Zero arm. Horrible. Just horrible. Unbelievable gun depression. Long aim time for heat ammunition. And uh, as a fourth one, I would say a medium hull traverse. It is not a con, but it's something uh, what you could improve. Well, I do not suggest, but if you opt for heat ammunition as your main BMP-1 arsenal, then probably you will gonna look forward to install ballistic computer to decrease aim time, gun breach and anti-tank guided missile control unit. However, personally for myself, I found an even better setup. I use gun breach, electro-optical absorbing paint and anti-tank guided missile control unit. If you decide to play mostly with mechanized infantry or as an active fire support or even as a tank destroyer, then I suggest Sabrina Washington or Viktor Kisanov as commanders for your BMP-1. If you go for scouting approach, then I would suggest Erin O'Connell. If you do not have Erin, then go for Sabrina. Personally, I use Sabrina taking advantages of her vision range boost, spotting through the foliage ability and camo skills. Well, and of course, module damage. Uh, for driver skills, I suggest off-road driving and spin to win. Spin to win uh, to a little bit increase hard traverse speed. And uh, for gunner, I suggest uh, Sting like a bee to increase anti-tank guided missile controllability and quick draw to increase aim speed when you are operating with heat ammunition. Overall, I found the BMP-1 stealthy enough to be a great scout, maneuverable and powerful enough to be a good fire support and it is capable of carrying mechanized infantry that boosts its firepower even more. I don't want to say this vehicle is perfect, but it is close to that. The only thing you should be aware of are avoiding close combat with heavy armor and detection. Therefore, my suggested gameplay tactic is to, after infantry disembarkment, try to use foliage as much as possible. If possible, creep on the flanks to target unsuspected main battle tanks, use cover or speed to avoid the deadly enemy fire after detection and creep around slowly changing position, therefore increasing chances of doing new spottings for your allies and increasing chances to engage new targets yourself as well. And now let's take a look at the legendary BMP-1 Soviet Armored Fighting Vehicle in action. Position. Target down. Open fire. Rotor missile. Identify target. Muscle tank. Rotor missile. Target acquired. Ammo up. Identify. Hostile tank. Oh. Give them hell! 
Another missile! Identify! Hostile tech thermobilized! So, as you can see, BMP-1 is a great AVV, it can spot, it can sting, and it can surprise with mechanized infantry, ambush, harass with mortar, or put eyes on enemy with sniper or designated target ability. Let me know what you think about the BMP-1, how you configure that vehicle, and what tactics you are using. And if you like this video, smash thumbs up button, hit the bell, and do not forget to subscribe. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, following and supporting Tank Zone. Have a wonderful day and see you next time.